I just want to thank Bishop because we asked him to speak about Christmas because it's very rare that we actually get a teaching about Christmas uh, in, our, in our church. When I remember when I was growing up, I don't think I ever got a teaching on Christmas, which is a, it's a shame because we should be learning about Jesus because Jesus and Father are one. You know, and looking at this scripture, you know, we, we to understand who Christ was. You know, my boys, they play video games. Anybody play video games here? Yeah. Come on, young people. Young boys. <laughs> you play those video games, right? And in those video games, let's say you made that video game, okay? So my boys play D&D. &D, and they have a video game. They're like knights, and they kill monsters and evil things. And let's say they created that game, all right? And they are now experiencing that world that they created through their character or that avatar that they're using to experience that world. You see, so they created the game and then they themselves are experiencing the game through that character. Yes. Let's call him Jesus or let's call him Reverend Moon. <laughs> okay? They're experiencing that world. through, And everybody in that world who meets that person mm -hmm. is meeting the creator. You see wow. what I mean? Of that game. Wow. Yeah. Everybody in that world who meets that avatar is meeting the creator wow. of the game. You see what I mean? Yes. This is an easy way I explain who is Father, who is Jesus to my children, to young kids. This is how precious he is because he's different from everybody else in that game. Everybody else in that game is also created by that creator, right? Right? But everybody is meeting the creator or meets the creator when they meet that one character. Yes. And that's very that's important to understand because there's a specialty. No one of us, no blessed child, no first gen, no future generation will ever be that avatar, that mm -hmm. character. And to understand the preciousness of that person yes, is so important yes, because we're not about religion. It's about relationship yes. with that person. Amen. And this is what I think is so different about the Old Testament religion, the ancient religions, which are based on righteousness. I studied Buddhism a long time. The path of Buddhism is, is benefited me greatly, greatly, greatly. But again, when I reflected on it in terms of righteousness, even the most holy people, I met the, some of the top monks in the world. But when I met them, I could see they're just people. They're just people like you and I. They still have the same sins as you and I. And understanding that we have that and we're not righteous in ourselves, but that we're clothed by righteousness because of our relationship with Christ. This is so important to understand, especially during Christmas. And particularly in our relationship with True Father and with Jesus. That's why it's so important for us as a community to understand that the same God that was in Jesus was the same God that was in True Father. The same one. There was not a different God. No. Amen? Only one. <laughs> not a different different creator. Right. God was experiencing the world through Jesus. Unfortunately, he was killed because of the faithlessness right. of the people. And then when he returned and he promised to return, he experienced the world once again. It doesn't matter the, the, the skin color of the person. Right. And then if you're playing a game, uh, a D&D game, it doesn't matter what skin color your avatar is. It really doesn't matter. When, that, when the people of that game meet that avatar, they're meeting you. Amen? So it doesn't matter that Jesus was a Middle Eastern Jew. It doesn't matter that Father was North Korean. That doesn't matter. People get hung up on those things. Too hung up. Right. Oh, he's from, he is a, he's a Jew. Or, you know, he's Korean. My, 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 Koreans like doing that, you know. <laughs> okay. But that's not the point. That's not the important point. Right. The important point is that when we meet that person, we're moving on. And that's why sitting in front of Father's presence, being in His presence, was being in the presence of God. And, yes, and it, it was that intense. Because it's not like when we go meet God, it's going to be always just, you know, we're going to feel always at calm and at peace. Because God is a, a being. He's a personal being. Mm. Who can feel all the things that we can feel. Yes. He's a living being. Yes. Who also is righteous, who is also does not lies anger even when That's he right. sees right. sin and unholiness. Amen. So understanding, I think this is why I asked Bishop and Tanya to speak about Jesus today, because for us it's so important 
Notice that when we hear about Jesus, or even when he speaks about Jesus, I can even see it myself when he said, we have to know, we, there's just one relation we need to know. We need to know Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. When Jesse says that, notice how we have a reaction to that. Yeah. <laughs> you notice that? As unifications, we have a reaction. We say, oh, wait a minute. You know, we're still dividing Jesus from Father. We're still dividing them. We're still not seeing God as present. The same God was on the earth as Jesus as he was with Father. That we, and that's how we all met. Amen? Amen? So we have to get over that. For us, I think it's very important that we have to get over that if we are to move into the completed testament age and not regress back into Old Testament religion or we're not focusing on the relationship with a living God. Amen? Amen. That's why it's so important that Amen. we're chasing after God. Right. We're yearning after Him. We're trying to find Him. We're trying to build our relationship with Him. And that's why we need strengthening together with such wonderful uh, people and also the teaching and the scripture. Amen. Amen. So I want to give them one more round of applause. If we can all rise and let's go.